my beloved brothers and sisters in the lord jesus christ i greet you in the name of the lord jesus christ who is our savior and our lord we all are concerned about covid-19 virus that is afflicting most of the world today we are not the only ones many many nations are suffering and suddenly the world has come to a standstill people are afraid leaders are concerned and afraid and many are fearing of their own lives what is happening what is happening today is something that god our god of the bible already knew it and he allowed it and he planned it and therefore he is in control now this is a comfort for the people of god therefore we should not be afraid trust him and also i believe god is sending out a strong message to humanity first of all a god rejecting god despising humanity nations cities peoples they in their arrogance and pride believe that science and education will improve the world's condition and uh, they could make it by themselves without god now by sending this a warning is given to the humanity what is it no matter how much you try life will not be possible without me and therefore turn your attention towards me and i am much encouraged to read some news that are coming out so far certain people who were atheist are now seeing death around them they got so frightened they start to believing in god and now they are calling upon the lord jesus christ to save them and set them free from that fear and so many good things like this are happening and at the same time there is an encouraging message as far as 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 well as a warning message for the church what is the encouraging message the encouraging message is when you hear about these things and when you see these things happening instead of being afraid of you must lift up your heads because the day of your redemption is at hand the lord's coming is closer than you realize so it is time for us to focus on what is the most important thing in life the church also has a warning from the lord and that warning is to remain lukewarm is a dangerous thing there are lukewarm christians there are also christians on fire for god so it is for you to decide what kind of christian you want to be i want to read this passage from the book of revelation chapter 3 for you these are the words of the lord sent to the church at, at laodicea the last of the seven churches these are the words of the amen the faithful and the true witness the ruler of god's creation i know you are deeds that you are neither cold nor hot i wish you were either one or the other so because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold i am about to spit you out of my mouth you say i am rich i have acquired wealth and do not need a thing but you do not realize that you are wretched pitiful poor blind and naked i counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become rich and white white clothes to wear 
so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. What is the warning in this? Lukewarmness is something that God cannot tolerate. So if you remain as a lukewarm Christian, God is going to disown you. He will not be tolerating your presence in his sight. So his advice, his message to the church today is, let all the lukewarm Christians think seriously about whether they want to remain as it is and be rejected by God or change your ways. How do you distinguish between a fire hot Christian and a lukewarm Christian? If you study this passage, you will find a lukewarm Christian's focus is not on the Lord, but on what he can gain. The focus is how to become rich, how to make a name for himself, how to uh, uh, get everything that your heart's desire of this world. The focus is entirely material thing. That is the difference. But uh, who is a fire-hot Christian? A fire-hot Christian, the one desire is how to please God, how to know Him better, how to love Him more, and how to serve Him more. And the focus is how to get into an intimate relationship with the Lord. That intimacy must be increased. These are the focus of a fire hot Christian. He wants to be ready to meet his creator. He wants to be ready and stand before the judgment seat of Christ without fearing. And that is the focus of a hot fire, fire hot Christian. And so the warning is you better change, repent of your lukewarmness, and get into a fire hot Christian life. Let the Holy Spirit kindle in you a fire for God and for the things of God. Get out of lukewarmness and be what God wants you to be. There is also an encouragement when you see these things happening and hear about wars and conflicts and selfishness of people increasing and sin increasing you must also be encouraged because the day of your redemption is very, very close. The coming of the Lord is closer than you imagine. Get ready. Look at what is happening today. Everybody has time. Everybody has time to spend together and pray and seek the Lord. Make the best use of this time available to come closer to each other in the family. God bless you and we love you. You are in our hearts and in our prayer. Amen.